the Biden administration has decided to go after the Arizona uh, state voting law. They're suing the state. And it's set to take effect in January and includes a proof of citizenship requirement to vote by mail in any federal election. The Department of Justice says that Arizona's law violates federal law. And here's what they're writing. Arizona has passed a law that turns the clock back by imposing unlawful and unnecessary requirements that would block eligible voters from the registration rolls. Attorney General Mark Burnovich, Republican candidate for U.S. Senate now. Great to have you in focus. And you've won a couple battles against the Biden administration. Tell me about this one. Well, thank you for having me on, Harris. And unfortunately, the lawlessness of the Biden administration is uh, really going unchecked. And that's why me and some of my colleagues have to constantly be in court trying to hold them in check, whether it's over you know, unconstitutional vaccine mandates or COVID relief bills are now on the border, Title 42. And now the Biden administration is suing our state just because we have a requirement that if you want to vote in a presidential election or if you want to vote by mail, you have to show proof of citizenship. And it is the height of absurdity that the Biden administration has incentivized and decriminalized people coming into this country illegally. And now they don't want Arizona to check for citizenship. I mean, you don't need to be a, a rocket scientist or even an astronaut to figure out what's going on here with the hmm. Biden administration. So the, the proof of citizenship, though, and, and again, I had just said this to Congressman Biggs about if they get the declaration of invasion down there uh, along the border. It works the same with this, too, though, because this would come precedent for others who might also want to do what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I issued the first legal opinion in the entire country yes. saying that what's going on in this country constitutes an invasion. It's not only the millions of people coming here and draining state resources. It's also all the fentanyl and all the gang and cartel activity that's endangering all of us. So every state, not just Arizona and Texas, are all border states now. Mm -hmm. And if Joe Biden and the failures in Congress, they won't do their job, then the states are going to have to continue so to step up and do as much as we can. With the proof of citizenship voter law in, in Arizona, if that happens, do you think that also becomes precedent that other states can, can follow? Yeah, absolutely, Harris. I mean, you know, I argued Brnovich v. DNC last year. As mm -hmm. a result of that win at the U.S. Supreme Court, states are allowed to elect co common sense election integrity measures like restrictions, limitations on ballot harvesting, out of precinct voting. So I'm going to be once again in the courtroom fighting to preserve the integrity of our elections. Well, uh, the DOJ has a fight on their hands indeed, if history is, is proof of that with A.G. Bernovich. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you, Harrison.